So in this program, we explore the way in which the primordial power of the universe shows itself under three fundamental modalities. We find ourselves in a universe that's differentiated. It's granular. Uh, it's atomic in the sense of it comes in separate centers. In a, in a certain sense, this could be considered one of the one of the great achievements of modern science was to, to examine the universe and find that it consists of um, differentiated centers. We even say the universe consists of articulated energy constellations. We have to feel that what this is saying. It, didn't necessarily have to be that way. It could, we could have discovered a universe that was homogeneous. There was, there was that large slabs of uniformity. In fact, the whole thing could have been a homogeneous sl smudge, in, theoretically. But that isn't what we find. We find that each thing is different from every other thing in the universe. Subjectivity is probably a word that, that is um, the most confusing, most difficult. Simply say, subjectivity means that the universe consists of subjects. The universe consists of subjects. It means that we're speaking now of the interior dimensions of, of things. So that everything that exists has, um, has an inside, has an interior reality. Okay, communion, um, this is, is pretty straightforward. It means everything is related to everything else. It means to be is to be in, involved with the primordial web uh, that goes throughout the universe. So from the point of view of communion, uh, the universe ultimately is a communion experience in a multiplicity of centers. A multiplicity of centers. Multi a number of centers, a number of centers, multiple centers. So the universe is a communion experience taking place in a multiplicity. So each of these, each of these three laws provide a, a summary of the universe as a whole. Right? Articulated energy constellations. Articulated energy constellations. This would be the point of view from differentiation. The universe consists of subjects. This is the point of view from subjectivity. The universe consists of a communion experience taking place in a multiplicity of sentient beings. The whole universe is one where? <laughs> Who can answer that? The whole universe is one where? In everywhere. And, and where to be somewhere, where are you? In the, in the center of what? Okay, yes, to be somewhere at the center of the universe, but where are you there at the center of the universe? Inside a subject. <laughs> Within a subject, okay? So the universe is one. The universe is a communion experience in a sentient being. I'm saying that these three are the three that govern the universe. This is the cosmic grammar of the universe. Differentiation, subjectivity, and community. It's the way in which all things are held together. It's the fundamental ordering of the universe. What then would be the what would be the ultimate direction or the ultimate aim of the universe? The ultimate aim would be a completion, a fullness of differentiation, the deepest subjectivity, and the most intimate communion. This is the this is the supreme moment of the universe. Every moment of the universe, in a certain sense is a grandeur and a fullness that will never be repeated again. But I'm speaking about the ultimate aim of the universe. The ultimate aim of the universe is for each thing to be recognized in its sacred depths by everything else. That's the ultimate aim of the universe. So then it requires each thing to give birth to what it is. It requires each thing to have the subjectivity, the depth, to feel the numinous presence of every other thing. Only this will enable the uh, intimacy of communion, of all with all, each with all. You see, so what, what, several lectures ago, the question was asked, what is the ultimate aim of the universe? 
And now I, I've indicated in a certain sense what I regard as the ultimate in the universe. And the next question is, where is the ultimate aim of the universe? Where is the ultimate aim of the universe? It's in each thing, absolutely. So the desire you have, and I have, the desire we have to create, that comes from the ultimate desire of the universe. It's already a total support of that. You see? That's why we desire to give birth so much. Because this is where the cosmic dynamic is unfolding. Our desire to feel the depths of reality, that's the ultimate desire of the universe. That's my point. And our deep desire for a communion experience on all levels of reality, with all orders of being, that's the heart of the universe. 